In our first example of solving an exponential equation, if we can recognize that to uh, rewrite our equation so that our bases match on both sides of the equation, uh, that'll be fairly easy to solve. So recognizing that eight is actually two to the third, we can go two to the third raised to the x power is equal to two to the x plus six. Um, using rules of exponents, this becomes two to the three x power equals two to the x plus six. Now in an equation, if the bases are the same and, and the left side is equal to the right, that means that the exponents are also equal. So this now becomes 3x equals x plus 6. Let's subtract x from both sides of the equation. We wind up getting 2x equals 6, which means that x is equal to 3. All right, uh, going to our second example. Here I can see that, well, if I say, can I rewrite 200 as 5 raised to a power? Well, 5 squared is 25, 5 to the third is 125, and 5 to the fourth is 625. So raising 200 to um, a power of 5, or rewriting this as 5 to some power, is not feasible um, for an exact amount. So what we're going to do is we will try a different method. We're going to take the logarithm of both sides of the equation. So we'll start here and we'll go log. This is a common log. Base 10 is assumed. Log 5 x to the minus 2. That's my exponent. Okay. Equals log 200. Using the power theorem, then I can bring that exponent out as a multiplier. So this becomes x minus 2 times log 5 equals log 200. Now we'll divide both sides of the equation by log 5. Causing these to cancel uh, this is a form of 1, so now we're left here with x minus 2 equals log 200 divided by log 5. So at this point we'll take our calculator right here, turn it on, and we'll do the division, log 200. divided by log 5 and we get an approximation of about 3.29 so x minus 2 is approximately 3.29 and then to get x we simply add 2 to both sides of the equation so x is approximately 5.29.